Now here, uh, go to assets folder and create one folder called images. Okay, inside image you can just open reveal in file explorer and open this image folder. I will paste this image, okay, which is a logo for our application. I will rename this to logo. Okay, that's all. Now, in order to import or use this logo, right, you have to type import logo the name whatever name you can give okay from and you have to give the path okay so in this case assets slash images slash logo dot png okay and we successfully imported this logo now remove this header text and here we will add this image source right so logo is our dynamic thing that means uh we already imported right in order to use this one we have to write in a curly braces and just type logo okay and save it if you go back to our application you will see this logo is too much big right so now let's give some width and height so i will give width to 60 pixel 60 and height to be 60 so this this width and height are the parameter of this uh, image uh, tag right so if you know the basic html and css you uh, you you will know this right and just save it let's see how it looks and this is perfect okay now we will add the search bar okay like this one correct so uh, inside the div one div tag we want the input field okay of type uh, text so these are the basic HTML and if I save it, and if you go back here, right in our application, you will see this input here, correct? Now we will need to give some styling. Also, we need to add this icon, react icon as well, right? So in order to add the react icon, go to this official library of the uh, react icon. Okay, so just, just type react icons. Okay, and it will open this page, correct? So you have to first install this react icon. So copy this command, go to our application, open a terminal. You can add new terminal okay, and then paste this command. So it will install the react icon for us. Now on the left hand side, you will see the bunch of different types of icon. Okay, So for this, I will use the hero icon. You can use any of this. Then you have to import this particular statement, okay? If you are using the hero icon, so for each of this type of icon, you have to import the statement and just paste it here. And you have to replace this icon name with the icon which you selecting, okay? So just type search control F and search it. I don't find anything, but let's search manually. So we want search uh, icon, right? So let's let's find this. You see, uh, magnifying outline, magnifying, right? I will use this one, copy this, and then replace with this one, right? And in order to use it, right, you just paste the command uh, use as a tag only and save it. And if you go back in our application, you will see this icon. Now uh, let's put everything in one line. So in the class name, right? Uh, in HTML CSS, we use class, right? And then in class name, with the help of Tailwin CSS proper classes, we will add, uh, we'll give the styling. So in this case, just write flex, okay, and save it. So if you write flex, right, everything will come in one line. If it's not coming, or if you see right, it's coming in one line. Now. Uh, let's give some padding uh, styling to this one as well so i will write background uh, to be slate oh sorry background then the slate means the color code which you want it so in this case i will give 200 okay then let's give some padding to 2 okay and i win i want this division to be full width right so give width to be full if you hover on any of this uh, class property, right, you will see this uh, CSS. So, width is 100%, S 
if you over on this right you will see this background color if you over on the flakes so displays flakes so this is the css property written behind this of uh, tailwind css classes okay and also uh, i want everything to be center so just write item to be center and save it and if you go back here you'll you'll see everything right now if you see the input right input is in of background is white right so we have to make it transparent so go to the input add some styling to this by typing class name is equal to background and transparent okay and if you save you will see it okay also um, i want to remove this outline if you see right in input you will see this outline black outline right so just type outline none oh sorry outline none and save it and this is if you see right this is quite easy um so styling is quite easy just type of some of the text and you will get all the changes okay now uh, let put everything okay after that right uh, instead of putting everything together after that we have this um icon right the sun and moon icon correct so let's add that one so go to this um react icon and for now i will add the moon icon okay you will see moon icon here you can add different moon icon as well the field one so let's add fill moon icon this one okay and i will paste it here oh uh, sorry will i add one more div and then we will paste it here because we want to give some styling and some condition to this one okay and save it let's go back check whether we are getting or not oh just make sure you will import this one okay so import it and save it and i will get the moon as well now put everything in one line so for this uh, parent div add class name to be flex and save it and once you put everything in flex it will come in one line correct now uh let's put everything to be in this vertically center by typing item center and you see everything in vertically center now give some radius uh, rounded corner to this search bar and give some mar margin from the both the side okay so i will write here uh, margin x to be for example 5 and rounded to be full okay so rounded to be full means uh, the border radius to be full right if i have hover on this if you see border radius there added 9999 pixel which is full right and if i save it you will see this one right so if you see right our cursor is touching touching to this um icon right so give some padding from the x axis so i will say padding x to be 2 okay and uh, let's save it and you you see everything is good now okay i will add the placeholder just type search games okay and the placeholder is there now if i type something it's working right Oh, sorry now if you see our application right we have some padding from the all of this side right so let's give the padding so go to this uh, parent view and just <clears throat> just add some padding so padding of 3 for example save it and you'll see padding is coming correct okay. now style to this one right we'll style to this one so that uh, it will change on the click of it right so let's go back to our application and here we we'll, along with the moon we will add the sun icon okay this is sun icon and let's add it here okay obviously we can't show both at a time right so we have to switch it depends on the condition so in this case we will use the hooks so let's uh, use the react hooks so first type constant and we will use toggle then set toggle right and we have hook call use step right it will hold the value for this toggle variable and set toggle use to set the value for this toggle okay initially we can give value to be false okay so toggle is false so for example if you can write the condition in the uh, curly braces and just write toggle and this is ternary operator okay so toggle if toggle is uh, on right then you have to show the high moon otherwise you have to show the colon you have to show the sun okay now if you save it let's go back to our application 
if something is wrong let's check okay so make sure we'll import this use state as well and uh, what else is wrong i think everything's correct okay make sure hyphen you, you will import this hyphen uh, uh, icon as well and if you go back here right you will this you will look the sun if i change the value of this use state right to true now we'll see the moon okay perfect so that's what we wanted correct now uh, let me give some styling to this one so let's add class name and i will add uh, text size of 35 pixel okay and background so if we are showing the moon right let's go back to our if you are showing the moon the background is a light color correct and the text color is different one so background i will like slate 200 okay and the text color to be black okay. and if i save it you will see this one correct now let's give some padding so padding one and then do the rounded to be full and save it and you will see the application uh, the same thing the same thing just copy all the class name and paste it for the sun because it's quite similar only thing um instead of bg slate right 200 we have to change it so if you go back here and if i click on it right it's changed so in this case we will give the text to be black and bg slate to be white it's the same i think we don't need to change it right so that's fine and save it once you save it let's go back to our application and you will see the changes now what we have to do on click of this we have to switch it right so we have to switch the toggle so in react we have um, property called on click so just type on click you will see a bunch of um, options right click on on click and in curly braces we have to write the arrow function okay the arrow function is nothing but when you some execute right we have to execute the function so this is empty function okay no parameter and just you have to set the value right so set toggle right so let me take back this here so set toggle okay and you have to set the value of the toggle so what i will do i will uh whatever the toggles value is there right i will make it opposite of that one right by giving the explanatory mark and the toggle so copy the same line of code and paste it for this sun icon as well right correct so let me just i will format this one so it will look better okay high moon and sun and let's save it also i will give the cursor pointer so we'll get some cursor pointer as well cursor pointer save it and if you go back to our application right and if i click on it i will see the change see okay now our header is pretty much completed okay and uh, if you go to this um, mobile view right it still look uh, completely fine okay so it's a fully responsive because tailwind css is a responsive um, ui library so our application also get automatically responsive okay 